Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So I have been going a little bit organization crazy and I've been going through my kitchen cupboards. This video, I'm gonna show you how I organize my pantry cupboard. So this is the cupboard that has most food items in, things that I need for cooking. And it had gotten completely out of control, a real mess. I was just chucking stuff in there, shoving stuff wherever it would fit. I was ending up with sometimes three packets of the same item open at the same time. So it, yeah, it could not stay like that for any longer and I needed to get it organized. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the huge transformation because the end result I am so so happy with so if you want to see how I transformed this incredibly messy cupboard then stay tuned so of course the first thing that I had to do was remove all of the items from the cupboard every last one and I just put them all out on the countertop and just went through them I checked everything's date because there were some spices and things that were just that were no good anymore look I had things like this three bottles of soy sauce and two of them are open and they were all pretty much around the same date so yeah just things that I've just overbought because I've not had it organized so I went through all of them and just purged a few items and just made it a lot more streamlined and just kept the things that I needed and was going to use. The next thing that I did was give the cupboard a good clean. There was just a few spills and things, sticky stains that needed wiping up. I then got all of my storage boxes and just tried to get an idea of how I wanted the layout to be. A lot of these storage boxes I bought recently from places like Home Bargains and The Range. So if you're interested in having a look at any of them, then they are in some of my previous hauls. I decided to use some of these storage boxes, these are from Home Bargains, to store all of my cans in. This is a much easier way for me to be able to see what we have. That is another product that I always end up overbuying on because if there is cans at the back that I can't see, I can end up with like 12 cans of chopped tomatoes. So this is so much easier for me to just see what we have. So previously at the bottom of the cupboard, there was just packets of crisps everywhere. When the boys have gone and gotten out a packet of crisps, they tend to just rummage for their favorite flavor and they always get in a real mess and I never know what we have and I didn't actually realize how many packets of crisps that we had. So I stored them all neatly in their little flavor categories in these bigger storage boxes, which fit really nicely at the bottom of the cupboard. And now I can clearly see which ones are the preferred flavors and which ones nobody's as keen on. I then filled up another of the storage boxes with like quick meals, so packet pastas, soups, mug shots, all those things for quick uh, lunches and just snacks. So I'm glad that I've got them all in one place now. And then in another box, I put things that would go on the side of meals, just like rices and things. And then my pizza base mixes. And then in another one, I put all of the sauces and sachets and things that I would add to recipes and add to meals. These glass bottles are from the range and they are perfect for storing things like balsamic vinegar and olive oil and I just love how simple they look. And the clip top lid makes sure that everything stays fresh. Now I'm gonna fill up some of the big jars that again, I got from the range. I have got that many packets of oats open and I also had some in a jar, but I decided that that jar just wasn't big enough. I feel like we get through quite a lot of oats when the boys have porridge and I have a lot of oats and I wanted to put them in one of the big jars. So I filled one of those up. This taller jar was actually from Ikea. I've had this for ages, but for some reason I wasn't, I didn't keep my spaghetti in it anymore. And I had, again, it's embarrassing, but I had like three packets of spaghetti pasta open. And then I found this was quite good for keeping lasagna sheets in. One of these cereal boxes. I just found this a really good shape. And again, three boxes open at the same time. 
I also used one of these jars that I got from B&M and I decided to keep our stuffing in one of those, which as you can see, I spilt everywhere. And then another one of the big jars for some noodles, which I think look really nice. These will look really nice on a shelf, I think. If you have a open plan sort of kitchen with nice shelves in to keep some products on. Now, this is the best thing I've ever bought. This is my label maker from Home Bargains. I went through all of those jars and labeled up everything. And I absolutely love it. So easy to use. I love that it's got these embossed letters on it. I just love it. So I went through all of my jars and labeled them all all up and I just think with the jars and these labels is a really nice simple look it's really clear what you've got and what you need and I just yeah I love the look of it Next, I'm moving on to putting my flour in some of these big jars again. Now, I kept all of my baking things in this big cupboard before, but it was really hard to get to. I needed something that was much more accessible because a lot of my baking stuff is like small and fiddly little things. So I cleared out one of these big drawers. This is still going to need some work, but I'm just showing you where I put all of my baking things. We've got this big drawer that just had the lunch boxes and things in and some plastic Tupperware. And I decided to make this my baking drawer. Now, like I say, I'm going to still make this look a lot more beautiful, but I didn't do it this day. But I just thought I would put all of my things in one place for baking. So I had all of my sort of cake decorating items in one of the boxes and then just ingredients in another. And I've got my big flour jars there and then I just used another box for all of the cake tins just to keep it all in one place. So that is what I did with some of the items that were in that cupboard because there really was just too much stuff in there. Next, I wanted to find home for all of my spices and little things like that. So I've got all my sesame seed, my garlic in these jars. I think I got these from Ikea. There is four of them. I'm not 100%. I know I've had them for ages and I hadn't used them for anything. These other jars are from Home Bargains. They are in the wedding section, I think. They're like little mason jars with a little handle on. So I put all of my spices in them. I've got one of these tiered storage trays from Wilkinson's, I think it was from. So I just used one of them in the cupboard to store all of the smaller jars and just had all of my spices on show. I know exactly what I've got and it just makes cooking in the evenings so much easier and feel so much less stressful. wire baskets I love them I actually got them from a Matalan sale but I thought they'd be perfect in here so I put all of the crackers and things in one of them and then put in some jars and sauce kits in the other one so to make sure that I could keep an eye on the dates of everything I actually found this printable off Pinterest obviously you could just write it down but I just really like the look of this just to keep a little inventory of everything's date to make sure that I knew when things needed using up by or if I needed to replace anything and then I can just keep that inside the cupboard and make sure that I know when things need to be used up by. So just to show you the very shameful before, I just can't even believe how bad I let it get. And then I will show you how it looks now. It just feels so much clearer and organized. I know exactly what I have. It's so much easier for us all to find what we need in the cupboard and it just looks so much better. It is just really nice to have the things organized. It's amazing how much easier it makes your life if things are in the right place. And I am definitely gonna keep it like this. It makes such a difference having it all organized.
So guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, I would love it if you gave it a big thumbs up. And also, if you do enjoy these kind of videos, then please let me know in the comments below. And I will share more organization videos with you all. I really hope that you take care and I would love to see you again for my next video. Bye everyone.